welcome back. So today we're in Seathwaite. We've come to do leg two of the Lakeland 100. Today's leg is from Seathwaite over to Boot, uh, es Eskdale Mill, which is, or, or the Corn Mill. It's a seven mile leg. So of course, um, I'll be going there, turning around and coming back to the car. So it's gonna be 14 miles again, like, uh, like, like the last leg was. I'm kind of getting to grips with the kind of format these videos are gonna take. Like I mentioned in the last one, I'm going off the route card. Uh, what I need to do is I'll uh, probably, when I get back to Kendall uh, this afternoon, I'm gonna go into the print shop and get this printed off as A3, and then I'm gonna fablon it and waterproof it, and so I'll have a better copy, but at the moment I'm still going off this A4 printed one from work. So I'm just gonna explain a little bit about the format of these videos so you can follow along, and I hope it makes a bit of sense. But like here, uh, today's leg is Seathwaite to boot, as you can see on the route card. And so the waypoints are basically waypoints I've chosen out of the route card, which makes sense to me because I'm more of a visual person and I get on with maps better than I do um, explained route cards, but it's great to obviously have the route card used alongside a map because it makes perfect sense then. But the first waypoint which will be on the map I'm taking from bullet point one, and that's where we turn off the road here onto the track. It says, uh, turn left at a checkpoint, follow road, and then through wooden gate on the right opposite schoolhouse. So that's waypoint one. Then waypoint two is taken from bullet point two on the route card, which I'll show you there. And waypoint two will be through two gates to High Wallow Barrow Farm. So Wallow Barrow Farm is going to be waypoint two. Then bullet point four on the route card, which you can see, we'll have waypoint three. And waypoint three is Grass Guards Farm. Then moving down the route card to bullet point six, waypoint four is taken from bullet point six, and that is crossover next fence style where path veers right from fence. Waypoint five is taken from bullet point seven, which is Penny Hill Farm. Then waypoint six is taken from bullet point eight. That's crossing Doctor Bridge. Waypoint seven from bullet poot, bullet, <coughs> bullet poot, bullet poot, bullet, bullet point nine is at gates, keep to Riverside Path and turn right past church. So turning right past the church will be waypoint seven. And then the last waypoint is checkpoint two, is the corn mill at Eskdale, or boot, call it what you will, boot slash corndale. Corndale? <laughs> I'm just making stuff up. Yeah, it's corn mill in boot. That's checkpoint two. Right, I hope that's as clear as mud. <laughs> and it makes a bit of sense. If it doesn't make sense to you, um, yeah, do let me know and I'll try and uh, improve. Okay, right, so enough of me waffling. I've gone on quite a bit. If you're still with me, thanks, I appreciate it. <laughs> I'm gonna get ready, we're gonna go.
Hello. Yeah. Yay. Here we are, approaching waypoint four. Waypoint four. Oh, well, hang on a sec. Let me just check Garmin. 4.9 miles. Yeah, so uh, seven miles to Seathwaite, five miles to this point here, waypoint four. So that last section there from the L100 bridge, which was the uh, flat wooden structure, unsurprisingly. <laughs> up through towards up through the wood in that little junction that you saw just there that ground was boggy and if your feet weren't wet by that by that point they're definitely going to get wet going up through there it's uh, a little soul destroying but you know um, about a mile back so it'd only be 11 miles into the race so you're only 11 miles into 100 miles so it, it won't be sapping you that much i should imagine uh but yeah boggy undulating baby's heads hidden bogs uh there you are bimble along bimbling along minding your own business and then whoomph you're up to your crotch in mud <laughs> so yeah luckily i avoided that but if you're doing it at night it's gonna be yeah cheeky cool okay well Enough of me waffling. Are we going to head down to waypoint five, bullet point seven? Bullet point seven, waypoint five. Mm, part of me thinks it's going to be a little bit confusing to follow, but well, you can let me know that. But yeah, the next waypoint, waypoint five, is Penny Hill Farm. Okay, let's go.
So here we are. We're at the corn mill, checkpoint two, corn mill. Uh, I'm guessing somewhere in here, uh, probably this building here is the actual checkpoint itself. Uh, I don't know, I've not been here before. But it says here on the route card, checkpoint two is the corn mill, just over the stone bridge. This is the stone bridge, and I'm presuming that's the corn mill right there. So yeah, that's taken me, and it says nine miles. 9.1 miles that's taken. Route card says seven, so um, yeah, either Garmin's wrong or the route card's wrong or both of them are wrong. <laughs> Who knows? I guess uh, at the end of the day, even though it's a 100 mile race, uh, in reality, you'd probably be running about 115 miles maybe? I don't know. Uh, those of you who have run it and are watching this, uh, do let me know. I would be quite interested. Uh, well, I've been going for almost four hours uh, I have been kicking the arse out of the vlogging, I must admit, I've been doing quite a bit. So yeah, it's taken me quite a while to do uh, nine miles. So um, I'm gonna have a quick spot of lunch and then I'm just gonna cane it back. Don't be surprised if I don't actually edit in much filming for this return leg, because if it, if it does work out to be nine miles on the way back, it's a pretty long day today. The next leg is from here, boot, over to Wasdale Head, and that's just uh, another up and over. The next leg, on the other hand, from Wasdale Head over to Buttermere, that's gonna be an absolute killer. It's gonna be cheeky, that. It's over two major passes, and then, of course, in my case, I'll be turning around and coming back, so, uh, yeah, I'll be doing those four times. <laughs> that will be a long day, but that won't be for another couple of weeks, at least. He says. Right, I'm gonna have a spot of lunch, uh, and, then, uh, and then we're gonna turn around and go back. So the next leg, leg three, starts up this path, uh, going off from the route card from checkpoint follow path uphill through gate and take right fork, signpost Wasdale. So that will be going up there. Uh, yeah, on the next run, this is where we'll be starting. Yeah, I mean, I guess for those of you watching this who have actually run this route by this checkpoint, checkpoint two, I should have, well, you still relatively fresh, feeling good about yourself. You haven't got yourself in the hurt locker just yet. Life's good, you know? You're feeling positive and enthusiastic for the rest of, for the, uh, for the other 86 miles. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, well, like I said, I didn't get into the, didn't get into it this year. Uh, I wasn't successful in the ballot. So obviously, hopefully next year, hopefully next year I will be. So um, yeah, anyway, enough of me waffling. I need to get back, so. Uh, Let's get going. So I've just come through High Wallow Barrow Farm, which is waypoint two. Yeah, I was a lot quicker getting back there. I've, uh, I've only got about another mile to get back to the car, but uh, just thought I'd wrap today up. Uh, that was today's run. That was leg two of the Lakeland 100 from Seathwaite to Boot. And like I said, I'm doing them in nice, small, manageable chunks, uh, which obviously I'm running in a very different way to what I would run a long distance route, like a hundred miles. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm really enjoying this actually. I'm running trails that I've not been on before and uh, the nice runnable routes as opposed to smashing out elevation by going up popular summits and stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, having fun. It's, uh, it's a really good route so far. I'll be interested when I get further north around Keswick because I don't often go up there. So it would be quite nice to go and check that out when I finally get around to it. But yeah, that's two legs done. Hopefully I'll get the next leg done soon enough between Boot and Wasdale Head. And then of course, the leg after that, which is gonna be a killer, Wasdale Head to Buttermere. Buttermere? Butterdale? Buttermere, yeah. It's, uh, it's been a long day. Yeah, so like I said earlier, that's gonna take in 
two major passes, which will be four. Anyway, all right, well, I'm gonna wrap this up. So I hope you enjoyed that. I certainly did. And yeah, until the next video.